Astro Ventures, welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR or mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Today I wanted to talk to you about the iPolar software. Now in the past, uh, if you've watched any videos, you know that I absolutely love the iPolar setup. I think it's outstanding. However, some people will run into difficulties where their software does not present the crosshair and the red ball that should represent Polaris. And after much research and investigation, I was finally able to find out that one, you need to calibrate the iPolar with your sky guider and although that is mentioned in the manual for the iPolar and sky guider it doesn't go into specific details as to exactly how to do that so we're going to go ahead and do that tonight so i have the sky guider set up here i've got the camera plugged in i have the software up and i have the camera sitting here in a 90 degree um, or horizontal position okay now here at the software uh, when you get started your software may initially tell you that you have to take the first dark frame to get this all going uh, i've done that already it auto loads and so we're going to move past that point so here we are the Sky Guider is sitting horizontal. I've got the software up. I don't have the crosshair. And you can see that this button here has lit up. If it's not accessible, the print of confirm confirmation, or excuse me, confirm position one will be black and you can't click on it. So here we go. I can confirm position one. This window uh, pops up, position one confirmed, and I acknowledge it with a simple OK. Now I'm going to loosen the clutch on the Sky Guider, rotate it to a vertical position, come back to the software, and you can see Confirm Position 2 is now accessible. I will click it. Over here it says Position 2 Confirmed. I'll acknowledge. Lastly, I'll come back to the Sky Guider, loosen it again, and then rotate it to the other horizontal direction lock it down, return to the software, and confirm position 3, and position 3 confirmed. And now you can see the crosshair has shown up, and there is my star Polaris, and I would be able to dial this all in so that I can get this tracking. Now, uh, Initially, when I set up all of my equipment, uh, this automatically happened. I, I didn't actually do anything. I'm not even sure how I got to that point, but just everything was up and running. However, on another computer of mine, I uh, couldn't get the crosshair to show up, and I ran this process, but it was a little bit different. I confirmed position one, doing exactly what I did here, but when I rolled it over to the next position, it actually auto-confirmed position two. I don't know what triggered that, but it did, and I didn't have to confirm a position three. But now I'm all set. Now lastly, before I let you go on this, um, I think that I will probably do this each time I set up, and the reason being is, is because you will have, uh, if you've watched other videos, you know that I mentioned that about every 30 minutes I will go ahead and recheck the accuracy of my alignment. And that was because at about the 30 minute point, I would always notice there was a slight consistent drift of Polaris in the same direction every time. So I knew that the XY coordinates had to be off just slightly. And after doing this whole process of calibrating, the numbers changed ever so slightly, but that would ex explain exactly why it was that I saw that consistent slight drift. So hopefully, this will mean that I will be able to track longer without having to get in and recheck it, although uh, knowing myself, I'll still probably continue to check it every 30 minutes just because I'd rather lose 
you know, um, maybe up to 30 minutes of data than to lose, say, 45 minutes or an hour just because it tracks better. So I hope this helps. If uh, you are new, we do have a Facebook group, AstroVenture DSLR. We would love to see you there. And if you have any questions on what I covered today, please feel free to drop a comment below. Or if you like what you saw, you know, drop a comment as well. And, you know, you know if you like what you saw, please continue, excuse me, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so that you'll not be notified with each and every video that we put up. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.